Hi, my name is Luis Rano. I'm from Corazon Puro. I'm a missionary in Corazon Puro. Uh, thinking back on my mission in Corazon Puro, I try to think when it started, and um, it probably takes me back four years. Uh, around this time, uh, four years ago, uh, I had a car accident, and I remember the car accident. I remember um, when I hit um, a rock, um, and just as soon as that rock hit, I knew that this was going to happen. I knew that I had no one to blame. I had no reason to be mad. I just had a reason to accept what choices I had made. And um, I had nothing, nothing, nothing to say. Um, I just um, started seeing how I can get out where I was, where I was, and um, just just move on and um, talking to my friends, they started telling me, you know, Louis, I think you should I think you should go to church. Um, I hadn't been in church in years. And I, I really appreciated their effort. So I started going to mass. Um, my friend needed help with a catechist class. And I, I thought, hey, I'm gonna help my friend um, do this. I'm gonna help my friend teach. And I, I didn't know what friend I was helping. Uh, ended up teaching confirmation class and um, I just knew I needed change, and every challenge that came, I started taking them on. I um, wanted to, to go all in in this class, so I actually went to confession and just little by little started wanting to change. Um, when I started teaching class, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to teach or what I was going to teach, and that's when I just started just giving more time to the faith, um, listening more, and really trying to to learn things that I didn't learn as a student, or um, I feel like I was teaching myself. And um, I felt the confirmation class was a confirmation for me and as well as my students. This started my journey and um, I just kept going with it. Little by little, I started wanting more, learning more. Um, and I started seeking. I ended up father, finding um, Father Gustino at a talk, uh, finding Corazon Puro. And I started traveling from Connecticut to New Jersey, to New York, to wherever Corazon Puro was. I started going. And when I went to Corazon Puro the first time, I heard their pledge. And I think that's the first time I heard God speak to me so clearly. And it was like, you know, you really want to, to, to go more. You have to take this pledge. And it wasn't, it wasn't you know, I didn't want to just take the pledge to take pledge. And I just started taking that challenge on, started um, wrestling with God, started seeing what he would put in front of me and what I would um, be able to take, what, what, what I would be able to handle. And I just kept going. I started going to Corazon Puro, started going to retreats, started um, coming to Missionary Formation Week. And as again, it was like a wrestling match with God. And it was like, you know, you want to go another round, we can go another round. It's just going to get harder. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you stronger. And as I, I stopped, started going, I started letting go of um, what I was holding on to for a long time, which was my my life, the life that I had planned. Um, I felt like there was a point in my life two years ago where I had the life I had planned in one hand and um, God was asking me if I wanted to take the other one that he had for me. And when I made that decision, I had to let go of my plans to take on his. He, he brought me closer to Corazon Puro. He, he, he really pushed me to grow and, and I was just, going with him with faith and not knowing at the time what was happening, just 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 doing what I thought was the right thing to do at the moment. And Corazon Puro just kept on pushing me, giving me different 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 challenges. Um, I ended up going on uh, missions. Every mission kept on getting harder, every mission getting more powerful. And I, I just knew I wanted to keep going. I didn't know what I was looking for, but I did know that God wanted to show me something. Uh, I ended up going to a mission a year ago to Honduras. We were um, in the mountains of Honduras, uh, of Limpera, Honduras. Uh, we had to drive four hours into the jungle to get to where we were going. And even then, we, we were staying at a, at, um, at a friary, and there uh, we had a day off of mission. And uh, it was like, okay, finally we get to rest. Finally we get to to recover um, from everything that we've been giving. We ended up going to our, um, the fire that was hosting us, his housekeeper, it was her birthday. And 
we were invited to invite to celebrate the birthday with them. So we ended up going to their house um, even further, like further. Like I felt like God was taking me further, further, further. Um, when I was there at the birthday party, there were there were two kids. Um, I started playing with uh, both of them, and then I just started gravitating more to um, a boy named Kevin. And he we started playing marbles. And he just wanted to keep playing. He, he asked me if I wanted to play soccer with him at his house. So, yes, yes, I'll keep going. You know, I felt like it was like, okay, it was just another invitation that I'm taking, another invitation that I'm going um, with just faith and um, openness. Um, I ended up going to his house. Um, they brought us birthday, uh, some, some cake to us. I was sitting on the, on the I guess, the balcony uh, with him and we were eating. And he was just eating his his ice cream. And, um, I asked him who, you know, who made this patio? His patio looks new. He told me that two men came and, and they made the patio. And I just looked at him. Okay. Oh, okay. Two men. Okay. And I was just looking at him and that's when he got scared and he just looked at me. He said, they didn't tell you, they didn't tell you who I am. Right. And I said, you're Kevin. That's what you told me. And he said, no, I'm an abandoned child. Um, my, my father left us. He left us here. And um, I'm an abandoned child, so I guess they didn't tell you that. That's why you're playing with me. And right there, um, I feel like my whole experience with Corazón Puro came together at that moment. I feel like what I was looking for um, after the car accident, after teaching confirmation class, I was looking for a Corazón Puro. I was looking for a pure heart. And, you know, you go on these missions and you go look, you look and you open and you start telling people about Jesus and you start realizing that the pure heart that you're looking for is actually within you the whole time. And right there is, I feel like that's when I had the faith and the, 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 the knowledge and, and the love for God to just let go of, of who I was and let, let really truly let God take over. And right then and there, without even thinking, I just told them, Kevin, you're not an abandoned child. You, God is with you. And if you do not believe me, you need proof. He sent me here from New York to tell you. And his, like, his face lit up. And I feel like that's when I really realized what a corazón puro was. And it was just like to open and to be a heart like God's. Like a, be a heart that is willing to love and just give so much love that there's no denying it. And I think right there, Kevin had nothing, nothing to say. Like all his, his, um, all his lies were, were, were just slammed on and he gave me a hug and he just couldn't believe what I said. And I think at the moment I was still in the mindset of a missionary. It was just like, this is what I'm supposed to do. And it took me some time to recover and really realize like, oh my God, I can't believe that the person saying that was me. And um, I think, again, we're all sent to, um, to look for a corazón puro. And I think people look for corazón puro and people and idols and things. And they, they forget that God already made you. Like, he already made you pure heart. He already made you um, willing to love him. And um, we get distracted. And um, it's just a time of letting go. And it's just letting go is a process and it's not just said or done with one action, but you feel when you do it. And, um, and I was coming back from Honduras. I, I, I couldn't believe that I had gone so far to realize that the heart that I'm looking for was my heart and I have to keep working on it um, to, to bring it out and um, not just bring it out in me, but by bringing it out to me, bring it out to other people.